Let's bring in CBS News political director John Dickerson in Washington. John, everyone's trying to digest these latest developments and understand their significance. What do you see? Well, David Wildenstein is the official who ordered the lane closings. So when he says he has a version of events that contradicts Governor Christie's, it creates tremors. But the claims he's making are quite incomplete. The central question of this matter is whether Governor Christie ordered the lane closures on the George Washington Bridge as political retribution or did he know about it? Now, no evidence suggests either of those things is true. And what David Wildstein has provided so far doesn't suggest it's true. What he is saying is that he can contradict what Governor Christie has said about the lane closures once they were underway. If there is a discrepancy, that could call the governor's credibility into question, which could be politically damaging. But right now, there is no evidence to back up Mr. Wildstein's claim. So it could be damaging to Governor Christie or it could just be a big bluff. But to gauge consequences on political futures for Governor Christie, you have to gauge both as governor and potential presidential candidate. I think the political future for Governor Christie for both of those jobs is kind of the same, and that will be determined by these investigations. Once they're all over, if it turns out he didn't have a role in ordering this retribution, then he might be able to live to fight another day if, going through two months of, of investigations, his credibility isn't too damaged. John Dickerson in Washington, thank you.